Hey friends, welcome to our channel. Let's begin today's video with a little game. True or false? 大红袍, just like Shui Xian and Ru Gui, is a rock tea from the Wuyi Mountains. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below and why you think it's true or false. I'll review the answer later on in the video. Hao is one of the most asked tea for us. I get many emails or social media inquiries asking if we will get Da Hong Pao again and when will that be. As an online tea store, it makes a lot of sense to have Da Hong Pao in our selection because it's one of the most high search volume, very SEO friendly, uh, but we don't have it currently. And I want to explain a bit about why so. Da Hong Pao is a very famous Chinese oolong tea. It has legends and fancy stories, and most tea lovers have heard of its name. But in today's video, I'd like to help you understand what truly is your cup better, revealing some unknown stories of Da Hong Pao. If you also love tea like we do, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notification bell. We do videos on how to brew teas, tea uh, process, tea gardens, and much, much more. Da Hong Pao is a oolong tea heading from the Wuyi Mountains in Fujian province. Together with many other teas, Da Hong Pao is known uh, to belong to the family of rock tea. This rock tea has a unique way of a process and most importantly they are all originated from the Wuyi Mountains. If you've read our tea magazine Cha Ren, you probably are very familiar with the details of the rise of Tie Guanyin in the 1990s. The success of Tie Guanyin was groundbreaking. It shook the whole China's tea industry. It's a role model for many teas and regions to study and follow. And we did. Can you name any other famous cultivar from Anxi? Anxi and Tie Guanyin is locked in our brain as one. One of the key steps in its success is to simplify. And it's a rule of thumb in marketing. Make your message simple, direct, and easy to digest for the target audience. So we follow this as well. They wanted to make Da Hong Pao and we lock together, just like Anxi Tie Guanyin. So for a while, the concept of Yan Cha is not important. All the teas from Wuyi is called Da Hong Pao. Wuyi produced Da Hong Pao. Da Hong Pao is from Wuyi. Simple as it is. This strategy worked great. It helped spread the reputation of Wuyi Da Hong Pao in the tea lover's mind. However, as time goes by, eventually we started to see the side effect. When all the teas from Wuyi is bundled under the single name of Da Hong Pao, it becomes very chaotic for the consumers. Also, when a brand becomes so successful, it's inevitably that there is counterfeit. So in 2002, the very first Wuyi Yan Chan national standard was published. In this standard, it gave a clear definition of a tea terminology, uh, definition, origin, process, uh, even uh, shipping, storage, labeling. The publication of this standard was to help sort out the chaos in the market, help regulate the market. In 2016, a national standard focused on Da Hong Pao was published. In this national standard, the uh, definition of Da Hong Pao and the quality of Da Hong Pao was restated and defined. In its careful wording of the Da Hong Pao definition, it officially admit that there are three types of Da Hong Pao. First, Mu Shu Da Hong Pao, Mother Plant Da Hong Pao, referring to that six plants growing on the uh, cliff edge in the Wuyi Mountains. You can check out our uh, some vlog videos when we were there and also the song that Phil did is, I think it's a super cute song. 
Now there's no chance for us to buy or try this Dahong Pao because the trees were carefully managed, rarely plugged. Uh, it's not something offered to the public. I remember when I first started the business, I did notice there were websites and stores selling uh, mother plant Dahong Pao. That was just uh, cute. Second type is Chun Zhong Dahong Pao. Uh, pure Da Hong Pao. This refers to those uh, the Da Hong Pao made with the tea plants that were grafted from the six tea plants. This is something we can find in the market, but it's in relatively small quantity. So the price, is, because its name and the quantity, the price is relatively high. The third type is a Shang Ping Da Hong Pao, commercial Da Hong Pao. This is what most of us are having in our cups. And all, most of the times, uh, people are not gonna specifically say this is a commercial Da Hong Pao, we just simplify and call it Da Hong Pao. This simply means it's a blend. Uh, you could be blending with fresh leaves and process, or after tea is processed, you blend all the uh, you know, the dry leaf, you blend them, and that's the Da Hong Pao. The question that I asked in the very beginning of the video, is it true or false? Is Da Hong Pao just like Shui Xian and Rou Gui? Uh, it's a rock tea from Wu Yes, it's a rock tea from the Wu Mountains. But uh, talking about Shui Xian and Rou Gui, there's a slight difference. That Da Hong Pao, when we really just talk about Da Hong Pao in today's the situation in the market and we're just simply talking about Da Hong Pao 99% of the time we're talking about the blend so it's not a pure cultivar while well, Shui Xian and Rou Gui is a, its own cultivar very likely the Da Hong Pao we're having have some Shui Xian, have some Rou Gui uh, or even other uh, rock tea plants I just want to point out there's nothing wrong with blending. Blending is a step of a tea process. A blended tea doesn't simply make that a good tea or bad tea. You know me. For me, I have to look at the tea itself. There's no simple terms that decide it's good or bad. So same with the pure Da Hong Pao. If it's a pure Da Hong Pao, it also doesn't really mean it's a guaranteed good tea. But because of the impression people have, yes, you're gonna pay extra money for that pure, for that kind of uh, impression we have. So talking about Chinese tea, it's actually a very vast market we're talking about. Uh, when we talk about Da Hong Pao, Tie Guan Yin, or any other teas, it sounds like we're talking about one tea, but underneath this one tea, there are so many different qualities. Every farmers, factories, or brands, they have their own quality level. And even within one season, they could, the individual farmer could have produced Tie uh, Guan Yin or Da Hong Hao with very different qualities. So it's really hard for regular tea consumers and tea lovers to really know this nuance of tea quality. So my philosophy of running Gen Tea is to act like a goalkeeper, um, using our expertise to help you eliminate that wandering phase. Is this vintage poor really from the 80s or is that a counterfeit or is this Shifeng Longjing really from Shifeng? So those are the things that we handle. And when you buy from us, you can be sure that whatever is in your cup matches what you think you bought. And I never say I only bring you the best tea in the world. Those are just a promise I cannot keep, something unrealistic. So my focus on what tea we carry is the best value. I know value, something that sounds so not fancy, so not high-end, but I think it matters. What I care is the price of the tea and its quality matches. 
That's why you will have some very accessible daily cheese in our store, as well as some rare cheese that you just cannot find anywhere else. In terms of Da Hong Pao, um, the pure Da Hong Pao, Chen Zhong Da Hong Pao, is usually labeled as uh, Beidou or Qigan, which Beidou we had carried in the past as well. Uh, the issue of uh, this category of Da Hong Pao is uh, is a lot of time overpriced and uh, people often just emphasize on it's that cultivar it's grafted from the mother plant but you know it's oolong tea and a rock tea the process really matters you could really room a tea by a better process so a lot of times what we've tasted is expensive tea good material but the making is very mediocre and the result in our opinion is an overpriced tea then we have this uh, more common da hong pao which is a blend again i want to say blend doesn't mean it's bad the essence of a blending is supposed to be duplicating or mimicking the essence of da hong pao but how many people really had know the the true taste of the Hong Pao. So a lot of times it become a, a way to sell some uh, low-end uh, leftover teas and also because like Shui Xian Ru Gui, those single cultivars now are very strong in the market. They themselves sell really well. Uh, the legend about Wu Yi is no more just about Da Hong Pao. So the chances of people using good material to make a very nice sip of Da Hong Pao is slim. <laughs> so in this category, we see a lot of price point that we feel like is very reasonable, but the quality is just not there. If you recall, we also did carry Da Hong Pao at the uh, some point of time so for me it's not really i have to have a tea in my store or something is we have always been sampling and tasting all kinds of rock tea all kinds of da uh, hong pao uh, but when we see something that is uh, up to our standard and matches my philosophy of my shop yes i will carry some but I don't know when, <laughs> I hope soon, uh, but there's, I, I cannot promise a time. This is actually also very similar to Shifeng Longjing, a very popular green tea. Every spring people were asking, oh, will you have this this year? Uh, you know, it's also a very hyped tea. I'd love to have them. The good quality ones are very, very phenomenal and uh, you know a lot of people have them i've seen those uh, just on websites and pictures just from the picture i know they're not even from shifeng but they're labeled the shifeng longjing with that price so i personally don't see the point of doing that yeah sometimes we carry it sometimes we don't that's pretty much what happens to our website and our tea selection Again, I'm really thankful for all the emails and inquiries. It really helps me know what you wanted to try and so that we can shift our focus to those teas and sampling and trying a little bit harder to get even uh, more samples. And um, just in terms of a specific teas, I, I can never really give a promise that this tea will always be here or this tea will be back at a certain time. Uh, every tea we all do retaste. If a tea you notice has been many years in our store, it means they've been good. Yeah, I just want to take the chance to explain how we work here. This is today's video. If you have any questions about Da Hong Pao or anything else, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel and hit the notification bell. Until next time, keep steeping.